Selamat datang. Welcome to Malaysia for Lima 2019, the Langkawi International Maritime and Aerospace Exhibition. A one-of-a-kind event combining an air show and a naval show. In our day one video, we're focusing on the Royal Malaysian Navy as well as on the local shipbuilding industry. Fifty to five is a concept for Navy transformation, which looks after the main method and machine of transformation. These three thrusts will be used to perform the transformation of the Navy, which will bring us towards two phases. The first phase up to 2030 and the second phase will be up to 2050. So what we intend to do now at present moment is to focus on all three aspects of people, process and a platform uh, going in tandem with each, each other. But main focus would be to look after the people and process uh, as the prime mover towards the uh, platform. Yeah, I think the plan was uh, the brainchild of the uh, uh, former Deput uh, Chief of Navy, Tan Sri Kamsaman, as you rightfully mentioned. And upon his retirement, his successor, Admiral uh, Reza, has uh, given his uh, approval of this project because I think uh, this project was deliberated at the highest level of the Navy and everybody is on board with this project as a transformation for the Navy is good for the Navy. Basically, uh, Muiba Engineering uh, is an oil and gas company uh, which built ships, uh, oil rigs, uh, and um, this is called the mobile uh, offshore base. Uh, it's based on a jackup uh, barge uh, for oil and gas that you use for uh, accommodation for crew at sea. So we took that oil and gas technology, we transferred that into a military application. So basically, it's a, it's a forward base, a base away from base. And once it's jack up, you can elevate it above the um, sea state, uh, whatever height of the state, and then it's comfortable to you at that height. Um, the lake uh, can be extended up to more than 100 meters. So the maximum uh, we can uh, figure out uh, by calculation is 300 meters. So this mobile offshore base is actually an, uh, a, a naval base uh, that can support itself and it can support other uh, ships surrounding uh, the area of interest. Uh, it's meant to um, secure the border at sea where you can have a fast inter interceptor craft, um, unmanned surface vessel and unmanned aerial, aerial vehicle and you can have uh, your CQI uh, system your radar, your cameras, um, your, combat your, your combat system. And you can also configure this into an air defense base, a uh, forward defense base uh, for humanitarian uh, assistance. Let's say you have a typhoon uh, in an island that um, no helicopter can land and there's a lot of uh, casualties. You can use uh, uh, this naval base near the uh, unfortunate area and uh, we can help uh, the victims because we can have this 200 bits of uh, hospital and su two surgery uh, theater uh, to, to, to attend to these victims. And also we can store foods and storage and water to, to help them. This is our model of uh, FIC they call uh, for the for the fast interceptor craft, and uh, we try to build up 
uh, to present it to the Naval uh, Malaysian Navy uh, for a fast interceptor. This is uh, 20 meters uh, long with the uh, remote control system uh, weapon on board. Can accommodate for six crew and ten packs. And maximum speed is uh, 45 knots and uh, endurance for three days. We suspect that they will uh, replace the current uh, usage of uh, CB90. They call okay for the uh, for the whole fleet. All right. How many ships in total? Uh, there are 20 in total. So we are trying to build up for the 20, all 20s. This is uh, again from MTC. We are proposing this uh, mobile offshore base station to the uh, Malaysia, Royal Malaysian Navy and uh, the Malaysian Coast Guard for uh, protection of um, our Eastern Sabah mainly. We are proposing to both of these uh, uh, um, uh, Navy and uh, Coast Guard for them to the to resub the um, the crew. I mean, uh, they can they can refill refuel the uh, aircraft and uh, for the boat also for them for them to refuel. They can use uh, in the protected of uh, protection of our uh, Eastern Sabah mainly. Current status uh, for the LMS one, the number one LMS, uh, it will be launched uh, 15 of April. Uh, the second one will be three months after that. So uh, the num number three uh, and number four is still under negotiation with the government that we are going to review the program, the schedule. This is a second batch for LMS, uh, which will will be designed by our local Malaysian. Our uh, boasted will design and build. So this will be 100% built in Malaysia. So the difference is, uh, the size is the same, but probably uh, if you can see the difference is we have a flight deck. That's the, 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 the main difference. Other than that, they are almost the same. Uh, probably the, the exhaust trunking will be on the top rather than on, on the side uh, like the previous one. If that one, if you can see, uh, they have uh, ramps uh, to launch the boat. But this one, we use Boat David. The purpose of LMS is more on primarily on uh, uh, patrol uh, within uh, EEZ. But they have different role uh, as and when required. They will bring in a uh, con uh, mission container to fit certain mission. For example, hydrographic mission, warfare mission, uh, uh, hum humanitarian uh, mission and, and, and so, so on and so forth.